All right, guys, welcome back. If you're seeing this on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow. Make sure you leave a comment in the chat. Um, I do try to keep up with that. And if I don't keep up with that, I try to go back and look at it. Um, so what we're doing today, and what we're doing in this uh, video, is we're setting up a gold mine from start to finish. I've done all the prep work. Um, it will help you out a lot if you figure out all the materials you're going to need before you start your build. Um, and if you can't, you know, you just wing it as you go. But to me, it's a lot easier if you gather up, if you get, gather up plenty of materials before you start. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. The biggest thing that we're going to need in this build is metal plating. And so we've got like 215 metal plates. Um, we need about 300 magnetized ferrite. We need about 300 gold for this, for the way I'm building it. We need chromatic metal. We need condensed we need carbon and condensed carbon, which we have enough of. Um, and we have enough fer fer ferrite dust, I believe, to finish this build. So we're going to go through it start to finish. Everything you need to do in order to get this done. So we're just going to run it until it gets done. Oh. Before we start, I do want to hit up the base computer real quick, like. Um, if you're just watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe, make sure you leave a comment, um, all that stuff. Y'all know what to do, because that really helps me out. All right, so over on Twitch, while I was grinding all this out. All I did on Twitch was gather materials, but I also installed the efficient thrusters there. This will allow me to get the next leg of this base computer mission. We ain't gonna worry about the shield blast right now. We're gonna continue on with everything we need to do for this build. And the first thing we gotta do is unlock the necessary things we need for this build. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the anomaly and unlock the things we need. For you're also going to need salvage data if you haven't previously unlocked these items, and give or take 589. So, oh, we're sporting uh, an updated look. We'll change it up as we go. But, you know, that's what we like for now. All right. Alright, so we already unlocked the mineral extractor. 
and the supply pipes, but we do need supply depot. And at some point, we will unlock the gas extractors as we need them. Alright. Yeah, that that's my fault on that. I forgot to turn the headset on. Alright, so what we're going to do next is, and just so y'all know, this is recorded live. This is not edited. This is not shaped up as we go or, or me talking over myself as I'm talking through the videos. We're not doing any of that crap. We're just making a video and then posting the video. That's it. We're not doing any special crap. All right, so let's continue on. So I kind of want to unlock the save beacon just in case. Um, something else we're going to need sooner rather than later is the medium refiner. Now, you don't need the medium refiner or the save beacon for this build. You will need, you will want some type of flooring. Um, wood is definitely my favorite. But for this, I think I want to try some stone and just to see how it looks and play around with it. See if I can give the mind some tattooing vibes or Maz Eisley, you know. I'm just give myself a couple of different options to work with. Alright, let's see. Alright, we don't want to spend too much. Now, out of all that, all you really needed was the mineral extractor, the supply pipes, and the supply depot. It's the only three you needed. Everything else I just picked up was extra. Oh, that's not the right roll one. All right, so what we really need is the survey right here. Alright, 
now this is the part I haven't really looked at um but we gotta get it installed so let's see if we could go and pick up these items at the space station we should be able to find some of it somewhere So we need two wiring looms, quantum computer, and a magnetic resonator. Alright, so let's go see if we can find some of this. I would hate to have to. Make it. Well, in particular. Alright, so... All we need now is the magnetic resonator and we'll be good to go. Just a second. <sighs> So, what we're going to do now, can't believe I keep dropping this thing. Alright, so, what we're going to do now, is just hang out and wait for that magnetic resonator to show up. Now, if you're into crafting, by all means craft it. For now, I don't have the nanites to unlock that. And I'm hoping that I get some of these blueprints from the base computer missions and other stuff as I go along. So I'm trying not to spend any nanites on anything I don't have to. If you're in creative mode, something like that, it's not going to be an issue. But if you're playing it legit, it's definitely an issue. I mean, if I wanted to, I could flip it on creative, go to the anomaly, and unlock everything all at once and not have to worry about it. But we're not doing that on the save. We're going to earn every inch of this game on this save. In my last save, well, I spent 235 hours playing on the save and that was with me cutting corners. So, we're not cutting corners on this. And I'm recording the all, all the all the major parts the entire journey on this save so
Come on. Dang. Not what I need. So, yeah. In the space stations, this is my favorite spot to to hang out and wait for the right shuttles and stuff to show up. Now, if you're in a time crunch, you can also hop from station to station and trading outpost to trading outpost to find the equipment you need. Or if you're further along in the game than I am, you can craft it. So. But on this save, doing it all legit. And I pretty much thought of the whole build with the exception of, of the survey device. So once we get that magnetic resonator, everything will go pretty quick. So yeah. I do like the way these arms look. Gives him a cyborg vibe. Hmm, that's unique. Not what I need, though. We're going to give this a few more minutes before we try something different. And let's just verify that we accidentally have not. No, we have not. All right, so if we have to, we we will station hop to get this done. Um, so yeah. We're just going to give it a couple more minutes in real time and see what happens. We already have the planet picked out that we're going to put the gold mine on. All right. Sitting around does not make for a good content. So what we're going to do, since I've only been to one space station so far, we're going to jump over to 
planet that I put the construction, the base computer on. <clears throat> We're gonna jump there, go over that space station, and see if there's anything there. Decided to, uh, my runner decided to, yeah, right in the middle of the statue. It just parked its butt right there. Okay. We never know how these things are going to go. magnetized ferrite that's interesting that's something that we may have to come back later on and start off and put a mine on Let's hope that this station has what we need. While we're here though, Always make sure you pick up your upgrade, your inventory slot. Uh, I guess I should have went in that one first, but for some reason I always like to check out the, the main terminal before I go to the side one. Not a bad looking ship. Although I do like how fast these guys are coming in. Hmm. He had an amino chamber though. Seal. That was close. That's not it, though, I don't believe.
Now see, this is what you need to be looking for. Look for star bases for space stations where the traders come in this frequently. These are coming in at a way better pace than the last base station. Alright, real quick like. Let me go check in here. I doubt it will be in here, but... Ooh, it is! Nice. Ooh, I need three of those, though. Alright. So, we got that installed. Now, this will let us find out where the gold is located. And then we'll just go from there. It is quicker to teleport back to the base. Now, preferably, we'll find one that's close to the base computer. If not, well, it just ends up where it ends up, so. I do not know if it's going to be out of the range of the base computer or not. We'll just have to cross that when we get there. Now, this may not even be gold. There's more than just gold on this planet. Let's see, this one is copper. And it's a low-grade copper spot, so... So the likelihood of us finding gold in the, in the same area as copper is kind of rare. I have seen it before, but... Most of the time, it's just going to be easier for you to plop down, plop down a new base computer wherever you're at. Now, if you think you're within like a thousand units of the base computer, you can extend that out. 
and you can extend it out by building walls or whatever to extend that range out I think the initial the initial range is like 300 units from the center of the base computer but Can we just like Thank you Now this will go a lot quicker if you have a roamer unlocked or something else, but right now we're, we, we got, okay, right now we don't have any of that unlocked. Um, I've only got like four to five hours into the save. Um, most of what you've seen on YouTube or Twitch is what I've done, but which isn't a lot. <clears throat> and I'm still figuring out which part needs to just, which parts need to die on Twitch and which part needs to go to YouTube so YouTube doesn't have a bunch of I don't know crap so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to figure out how to improve the content on Twitch I mean on YouTube and bypass the the a need to edit This one's being a pain. Ooh, please be gold. Please be gold. Yes. All right, so here's a trick. It looks like it's going to be like right on this cliff side here. Alright, so, let me explain what I'm doing. So, we were moving around, and what we were trying to get is as close to that density as we possibly can. That's the goal. Alright, so, now that we're there... Dang, I might have to find it again. Uh, 
That sucks. Alright, so... So, the higher you can get it close to the max density, the more gold you're going to produce per hour. And so, that's pretty much what we're doing. Alright, so, this is just me, but I like putting up a wall right here. Now, it don't matter. It doesn't matter if if it's on the ground or above the ground. It don't matter. You could stack your mineral extractors all the way up if you want to and it'll keep the same density as long as it's localized to that spot like you don't lose you you don't you don't lose density by being above it as long as it's center over the spot you're good There we go. Bad, but I had to remember the controls. Alright, so let's call our starship in. Because I'm going to need it for, for this little adventure. Now, once you got your flooring up, Again, all right. So the sweet spots right here. I forgot how big that thing was. So, you want your first mineral extractor. go right there to mark the closest that we are getting to the sweet spot what's trippy is the fact that the, the color discoloration on this build is kind of weird because normally you'd see green and you are only seeing red so Now, normally, 
me tell you why this is going a little bit different here. Normally on my builds, I don't have this much space in between. All this is packed on two tiles, two floor tiles. So, yeah. Um, this is being done just a little bit differently this time. Alright, so we'll go ahead and run our supply pipes. Alright, so you're going to want to make sure that all these are connected. And I'm doing this way differently this time. So, what I want to do is to go ahead and place down the solar panels and the batteries to get the operation up and running. Now, normally I would stack these in two groups of five, but seeing as how we got this extra floor space, Ah. Okay. So now we connect those two and we connect Ah. That to that. So now, if this is all we did, our mine would be up and running, if only in the daytime. But, what we are going to do, we're going to add in the batteries. Trying to make this look somewhat presentable. Alright, so we have our five batteries in.
Now, what's going to happen is, is all the excess... All the excess energy from the solar panels are going to go into the batteries. And we're already making money on the extractors. So, let me show you. <clears throat> we're extracting a total of 1230 an hour and the storage can each hold 1250 so all the so it'll fill up these extractors will fill up their personal storage in one hour all right but I'm an overachiever. And an overachiever, well, we only want to have to come once a day. Those are not perfectly lined up, but it'll do. Why is it the dang thing connecting now? Okay, that works. Alright, so now we've increased the total storage to 5,000 and it will fill up at 4 hours. But we are not done there. Let's see if I can get this row a little bit more even. Check our storage again. Nice. We're up to 9,000. That's great. Still not done, though. Now, why are we going after gold? Obviously, there is more precious metals in this game than gold. That's because, for whatever reason, gold has the highest value of a raw mineral in, a, in the game. It is the most sellable at the moment. Alright, so we're up to, we've got 12 units, and we're up to 10 hours. Um, 
the add in. A little bit more flooring. Is a trippy planet for sure. We're up to sixteen. We're up to almost fourteen hours. Curious. bit short on metal plates. And the reason why that is is because I kind of want more than what the build called for. So I still have some ferrite dust. Alright, so this is just a personal goal of mine. This is the reason why we bring a little bit extra than what we think the recipe calls for. This is just a personal little goal of mine, but when I set up a mine, I set it up to where I can leave it for a day and it will still be gathering materials. So if I can only log on once a day, then, all right, so we're up to 17 hours now. And we can store 21,000, which is pretty good. Um. With this being an A class, it's taken a lot more supply depots than I intended to get to that number. So if we can at least get it close to the 20 hour mark, I'll be happy. But the, the goal is, is you only have to check it once a day. You go in, collect it, and it keeps on getting you money. Or at most twice a day.
All right. So we're just up to the 20 hour mark right now. And we can store 25,000 gold. And they sell for about 300 each, give or take, I think. So I think that's good enough for now. Um, and naturally we'll want to put down base computers you'll want to put down base computers you'll want to put down teleporters that sort of thing so So yeah, that's that's how we do that. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Um, in the next video, we'll beautify it a little bit, and then we'll continue on with with our journey in No Man's Sky. So. But I hope this has been helpful for you. This is how you do it. This is how you set it up. This is just my personal take on it. Now, if you wanted to, you can build you can build yourself another floor and stack stack another level and you stack them and you build them independently of each other so you don't have the fall off. So you wouldn't want to connect whatever you build on floor two to floor one. Each floor is self-sustaining and self-generating, and there is no fall off on what you're generating. So if you build each floor independently of each other and set the, set the mineral extractors in the same spot, you will get the same number every hour every time now if you stack this crap together if you stack it together and connect floor two to floor one and the supply pipes to floor two to floor one that's a no-no and why that's a no-no is is your actual total number per hour is going to fall off and drop because those supply pipes can only push so much gold at a time so you're not going to be getting as much so that's why I build it like this if you have a different way of you like to do it let me know down in the comments uh, I'm curious to see what other players and how they build it build their minds so that's going to be all for this one this is your guide on how to set up a mine in no man's sky it's pretty easy so i'll see y'all next time and y'all have a good one bye emma